Hi everyone, welcome to the Sacred Art class. And in today's class, we are going to draw some ornaments for our Jesse tree. So if you don't know about Jesse trees, I will put up a link to the description of a Jesse tree and the values associated with it. So in this video today, we are going to draw seven Jesse tree ornaments and we will cut them out and hang it on the Jesse tree on the appropriate dates. So without further delay, let's get started. So for doing or creating the ornaments for the Jesse tree, uh, you basically will need a hard paper. So this is a hard paper. When you add the ornaments made out of this hard paper, uh, your ornaments will stay intact on the Jesse tree. And also I'm going to use a circular object so you can take any circular object uh, of your choice so make sure that it is uh, very big uh, or very small you will be able to draw like four ornaments from this row another four ornaments from the bottom row as well okay so let's get started with our first ornament so the first ornament um, will be the creation of the world so the story that we are trying to say using the first ornament will be the story. I'm going to draw the picture of the globe. So first I will mark a circle using this can top like this. And inside this I'm going to draw some uh, continents and some countries and make it look like the earth. So before you start with the continents, I want you to draw another line, another circle um, inside the main circle. You can use freehand to draw this. There you go. And inside this, I'm going to draw the continents. So I'm drawing some random shapes. I'm approximately drawing the shape of the world so I have Australia over here Asia Africa and Europe over here so you don't have to follow this shape but you can draw anything you can draw any shapes over here so when we color it will color the continents in the green color and the rest of the portion in blue color to represent the sea so it's, this was creation so I'll start with the coloring uh, I'm going to give a light green color or any green color of your choice I'm giving a light green so if you want to use a darker green that is fine totally fine no problem at all since these are very small pictures it is easier uh, to complete it and for the C part I'm going to give a light blue color And for this uh, outer circle that we drew over here, I'm going to give a brown color. You can also give a black color if you want to. So just make that part a little bit darker. So this is to distinguish the earth properly. There you go. And so our creation ornament is, is ready and our next ornament will be the first sin. So for showing the first sin, we'll be drawing a, an apple, apple tree and a snake with an apple, All right? So again, I'm going to draw another circle. There you go and I'm going to draw a tree over here so I'm drawing two curved lines to show 
the trunk part of the tree and then I'm going to draw the branch a v-shape inside this like this and I'm going to draw the leaves using a lot of bumps And for the, for the grass, I'm going to draw some zigzag lines. Like this. And if you have zigzag lines crossing the tree, you can just erase that off over here. Nice and clean. And you can draw the roots as well. Like this and then you can draw a snake for drawing a snake I'm going to draw a wavy line I'm drawing it light because if I go wrong it will be easier for me uh, to erase and I'm going to draw a little head over here and then again I'm going to draw a wavy line the same in that way and I will join it in the end and in the end, I'm going to draw I'll modify the head a little bit I'll just make it shorter and I'll draw it like this and then I'm going to draw uh, the tongue like this and I'll draw a small dot on the head for the eyes so once you have drawn this you can make it darker using your pencil itself there you go and now you can start coloring for coloring the tree I'm using a dark green color so remember the LBW rule that we had learned earlier uh, for starting with light and then making sure that your colors are staying within the boundaries and then to fill all the white spaces. And now I will fill in all the white spaces. I'll go with one more layer of dark green to fill all the white spaces. Using a brown color, I'm going to color the trunk and the branches. And for the grass, I'm going to give a, a darker green, and for the snake, I'm going to give a lighter green. So, first, you can color the edges to make sure that your color doesn't go outside. And for the tongue of the snake, I'm going to give a red color. And for the body of the snake, I'm going to give a light green color. There you go. So we have uh, the ornament for the creation almost ready. And for this part over here, for the place that is vacant, I'm going to give a light blue color to show the sky. So I'm not giving a I'm not going to fill in all the white spaces for the sky and we'll just leave it as it is to make it look more natural. I'm giving a very light shade for the sky over here. There you go. So up next we are going to draw Noah's Ark. So again I will draw a circle. At first I'm going to draw the C part, so I'm going to draw some waves. I'm going to draw some waves like this, draw it light. Make sure you draw it light. I'm drawing it hard for you to see it properly on the camera. And then I'm going to draw a curved line over here. And another curved line over here. And then another curved line over here. 
and so this will be the bottom part of the arc and then I'm going to draw the top part of the arc two lines over here a line on top like this another shorter line on top of this again and then we'll join it over here like this and then we'll draw small windows in the form of circles like this and we'll add some detail for the roof as well like this and you can draw some additional waves and you can draw some birds flying so this will be like uh, the end of uh, the flood and a rainbow so for drawing the rainbow uh, what you can do is you can draw a curved line curved line like this and another curved line on top like this and since the rainbow has seven colors we are going to draw seven bands inside this region so I'll just mark here one two three four five six and seven and then I'll just draw these lines like this I'm just drawing seven lines inside the region that I just marked and we'll start with the coloring so now we'll start with the rainbow so I'm going with the red color on the top violet on the bottom for indigo I'm going with a dark blue color since I don't have the exact indigo color I'm going with a darker blue color here and then we'll go with the blue light blue color the green and then the next color will be yellow and then orange there you go so we have our rainbow ready I'll just fill in all the white spaces and then for the arc I'm going with a dark brown color first I'll go with a light shade a black color pencil you can give an outline for the arc to make it look more defined I'll add a black dot for the windows and then you can give one of the layer of brown on top of this And for the C, we will give a uh, dark blue color. And I shall add some black color pencils on the waves to make it look defined again and for the sky I'm going to give a light shade of blue very light so when I'm giving the light shade of blue just observe the place I'm holding my uh, pencil so I'm holding it a little bit back so as to get that very light shade 
so you don't have to white uh, you don't have to worry about the white space as much just make sure that your color is everywhere um, evenly distributed around the sky there you go so if you have any white spaces on on the arc you can fill them there you go so we have the nose arc ready and the next drawing next ornament that we are going to make will be something to represent Abraham so to represent Abraham we are going to draw a camel and tent so the camel and tent will represent the call to Abraham using circular object that you have you can draw a circle there you go and inside this I'm going to first draw a tent so for drawing a tent uh, I'm going to go from here till here and another curved line from here to here and then I'm joining it this tent to the and I'm joining this tent all the way from here to the bottom and I will meet it meet this line with the circle in the same way I will make this line from here onto the circle and inside the tent I'm going to draw a camel so to draw a camel uh, first we will go with some symbol shapes I'm going to draw a rectangle and then another rectangle to the bottom like this and then a rectangle over here so draw this very light because we will have to erase them off and you all know how the simple shapes work right and I'll finish this somewhere here and for the legs I'm going to draw a rectangle here and another rectangle over here cool and now we shall modify this so for the head portion on the top I'm going to modify this a little bit and curving it like this and a bump on top of it like this and a little semicircle on top of it for the ears and I'll curve it like this over here and curve it in the bottom as well like this and you can erase off any unwanted lines that you have and for the neck I'm going to curve it like this on both the sides and I'll bring it up like this over here and I will draw the hump on the back and I'll end it over here and again you can erase off any unwanted lines that you have And on the bottom, I'm going to uh, near the rectangle for the legs. I'm going to draw a line inside the rectangle like this, and a bump like this, and another bump like this. Close by. Another bump very close to it like this, and bring it down the legs and we shall draw a small shoes like this and the same thing but in a little different fa fashion uh, for the other the legs in the back so it will be a curved leg near the thighs like this and then we'll bring it all the way down same on the other side we'll go like this and bring it down so if you have any um, doubt on how to draw the camel over here, you can pause the video, you can go back and watch this again and make it right. And near the belly part, I'm going to curve it, I'm going to curve it like this. And now you can erase off any unwanted lines that you have. And you 
can draw a tail. And uh, you can draw a rope if you want to. And a little towel on top of it. And then you can draw a little bit of ground over here and little stars. So for drawing the stars, um, you can either go it this way or instead of that you can draw a triangle and another inverted triangle and f finish this. So you can draw stars of different shapes and distribute it randomly. You can also add a small eye and a mouth. Yep. So there you go. For coloring the this badge, this ornament, I'm going with a dark blue color on top. For the sky. So it's a night sky that we're drawing. So we are uh, drawing a dark blue color. So for all other ornaments that we have drawn so far, we have given a light blue color. Mm, for the sky There you go and for the tent I'm going to give a dark brown color for the tent And for the camel, I'm going to give a different brown color. It will be a lighter brown color. So I'm just giving a light shade of brown over here. But you have to make sure that you fill in all the white spaces. and also to outline the camel with a black color pencil. So using a black color pencil, I'm going to outline the camel and then I will continue with the coloring. And for this a little, ba little blanket on the top, I'm going to give a red color. So you can give any color for this blanket. So there is no particular color that you have to follow. I'm just giving it a nice red color. I shall give a reddish brown color for the sand at the bottom. And for
for the shoes of the camel I'm going to give a black color and if you have any white spaces in any part, any part of your drawing just fill in it fill in those places with the correct color I'm also going to give a black outline for the tent to make it look better there you go and for some of the white spaces in the tent I'm going to just give one more layer So we have the ornament that represents the call to Abraham ready and up next we are going to draw something uh, that will show the involvement of uh, Isaac. So for Isaac we are going to draw a lamp and a mountain. So we are going to again draw another circle like this and we are going to draw some mountains so I'll draw a curved line like this and another curved line from here like this and a bigger mountain over here and on this mountain we will draw some, some snow some shapes like this and some clouds like this and uh, now we are going to draw a small sheep so we are not going to draw a sheep in detail I'm just going to draw the face which will be something like a triangle and then I'm going to draw the wool on top of the head like this and two ears and eyes and a small mouth and then I'm going to draw the body using some bumps like this And I'm going to draw a leg like this and also a small tail alright so for coloring this it's pretty easy uh, you just have to color the mountains with a green and green color and you have to make sure that you don't um, Okay, you can color the mountains with a brown color, the main mountain and the rest of the mountains are not very big so we'll give them a green color. So I'm going to give a dark brown color for the main mountain. So make sure that you don't color inside the snow part, you have to leave it as white. And for the pastures, yeah, I'm going to give a light green color. And you have to make sure that you won't color inside, uh, that you don't color inside the sheep. Do not color over the sheep. So there you go. I have the pastures ready and for coloring the sheep, I'm just going to color uh, on the face with a peach color. If you don't have a peach color, you can use a orange color, face and the ears. And for the shoe, I'm going to give a black color. For the sky, I'm going to give a light blue color. We have the ornament that represent Isaac ready. So it was a lamp and a mountain. Up next we have to draw something that represents Jacob and the best thing that will represent Jacob will be the Jacob's ladder. So we will start right away. So I'm going to draw a circle again and then I'm going to draw some clouds to represent, represent the sky. 
and I'm going to draw a ladder so I'm going to draw two lines and I'm going to draw another line over here and over here and we are going to draw the small lines between the ladder as well cool now we will draw some grass and now we shall color the ladder with a light brown color And for the sky, I'm going to give a light blue color as usual. And for the grass, I'm going with a dark green color here. And for the ladder, I'm going to fill in all the white spaces. And also you can use a black color pencil to outline the ladder. And also for uh, for the clouds, just near these bumps over here, I'm going to give a slight color of blue. just near the bumps to make it look a little bit full and that we don't have a lot of white spaces on top just like that and also if you have any white spaces just fill them in properly there you go So the next ornament that we are going to draw is something that will represent uh, Joseph and to represent Joseph we are going to draw a coat of many colors. So let's see how we draw that. And inside the circle we are going to draw a coat. So I'll draw a, a straight line, two lines like this. and. Uh, I'll draw another line over here and another line over here and from here I'm going to draw a curved line all the way to the bottom like this on both the sides and then I'm going to join the bottom with a curved line like this and I'm going to draw another line from here like this from here like this I'll extend this line a little bit here for the sleeves Join them both here and I'll draw a line here. Join them both here and draw a line here. And at the center I'm going to draw a, draw two lines like this. A small rectangle here and a line. So this is something that you can use to tie the rope, to tie the coat actually. And then you can draw a V-shape here and from here I'm going to draw a line all the way to the bottom and from here all the way to the bottom and at the bottom as well I'm going to add another line over here and since this is a coat of many colors we are going to draw a lot of stripes so I'll draw two here Six, seven. There you go. And also on the sleeve. I'll add just one more stripe over here as well. Cool. 
So we're going to give a dark blue color for the for this part over here for the end parts of the coat. And we are going to give a light blue color. Ah, oh, we can leave some other color. Let me see. I'm going to give a purple color for the belt. And you can use any number of colors for filling in all the stripes. So I'm just going with uh, some colors of my choice. I'm going with an orange over here and a red below it. And then I'll go with a light green and a yellow. The same thing you can repeat it on the other side, the, on the other sleeve. The last one will be the orange color. And similarly on the coat as well. So I'm going with an orange color here. And an orange uh, orange color here. And then a red color. green color again so you need not follow the same color patterns you can use any color patterns of your choice and a yellow Again, go with an orange a red followed by green And you can fill in all the white spaces if there are any. And then you can outline the coat just on the outer side with a black color pencil. So there you go and if you want to just for the sake of filling the background you can give a light blue color. 
I'm giving a light blue color over here. So it doesn't mean that the coat is in the sky. So I'm just filling the background to make it look a little bit more vibrant. So there you go. So we have the coat of many colors ready. So now we have completed seven ornaments. And if you think there are any white spaces or you want to fill, you can fill them out right now. Alright, so once this is done, you can cut out these pictures from the page over here and then uh, hang it on your Jesse tree branch on the on the correct dates so we have done it for the first week of December and you can cut out these pictures from this paper using a scissor so make sure that you use this you do the cutting part in the presence of an adult so the best thing is ask somebody in your family who is an adult to cut these ornaments out of the paper for you so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was pretty long I, uh, I hope it was pretty interesting we learned a little bit of Bible and how uh, we progress from the creation uh, to Jesus. So I guess you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys next week. Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.